is Amy the hamster and no she is not at all a part of my everyday carry uh, my 15 year old daughter just brought her to me to hold her while little Amy's getting her cage cleaned so Amy and I are gonna hang out and then I'm gonna film my video Amy are you being shy look at the camera look at that face isn't she cute Hello, this is Candy with eyes to Jesus.blogspot.com, and today I am going to share with you what's in my purse. It's been quite a while since I've done a what's in my purse video, and I think I'm still in the same purse that I was in on my last video from quite a while ago. Uh, and this purse is great. It is held up. Uh, one of the inner zippers no longer closes, but I leave it open all the time anyways, and I don't need to close it. And other than that, there has been no visible wear and tear that is affecting its uh, usability at all. And so the purse, or my everyday carry, is a backpack purse. So here's the straps, and right now I'm wearing it as a backpack, and I'll show you what that looks like. So, see, it's not too big. So it's not uh, too big uh, for a backpack purse. And uh, I will wear it as a backpack. For example, if I stop in the store and I don't have a cart because I'm just going to grab a few things, or if I'm at you know waiting in line at an event or something where I'm going to be standing or walking around for a while, then I wear it as a backpack. Otherwise, if it's just quick, you know, take it out of the car, go into the gas station, pay for gas, come back out, you know, things like that, then I just wear it as a purse. So, and there we go. And the strap is long enough, you could maybe do crossbody, but I think it'd be a little bit uncomfortable, and I'm not much of a crossbody person. And if I'm just grabbing my purse really quick and I'm not going to be having it for very long at all, then I use the handle here at the top. So that's handy too. Um, and this is just a backpack purse that I got off of Walmart. I don't know or remember the brand name. Uh, if you just search backpack purses on, uh, I'm not Walmart, on Amazon. And if you just search uh, backpack purses on Amazon, uh, there's a whole bunch. And man, there's some really, really great ones. So let's get into this and I'll show you what's in my purse or my everyday carry. And here is my beautiful purse. Uh, definitely a faux leather. It's not very expensive. And it's got kind of, um, it's, it's called wax something. Uh, and I specifically went for this color because I just feel like it goes with everything and it's not uh, too bright, doesn't call too much attention to itself. And this has been just completely, absolutely 100% functional for me with everything I like to carry with me. And uh, I just recently got back from a weekend getaway and uh, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing so I didn't have much time to think over my packing so I packed my overnight bag but I also knew that I have a whole bunch of stuff in here that I could use if I forgot certain things that I packed and there were some things I forgot to pack and I was able to just use them here from my purse so going inside the first sections we'll look at are the side pockets that are open here on the side there's one on each side alright so I have a pair of my reading glasses and a handy dandy case and I have sunscreen my favorite sunscreen I've been using for years and years is the water babies and this one's almost gone but summer's just about over uh, so I won't be needing as much anyways and that's all that's in this side and then I flip it around to the other side and I like to keep lotion with me and uh, this came in handy on my getaway because I forgot to bring my shea butter and my hair has a really really a wild cowlick that I always have to kind of gel down a little bit with some shea butter. Well, I forgot to bring it. The lotion did the trick. And then this funny looking contraption is a Eustachi. It blows air out the hole and uh, it's an ear popper. It pops my ears. So this is especially as helpful when uh, I'm changing elevation when we're going somewhere. Uh, it pops my ears. So I like to have that with me. And now we're going to go into the front pocket. So we got this front pocket here. And I got floss, I floss after every meal, after every snack, after every time I eat, I floss. And it's also a handy source of string. And then I got one of my very favorite lipsticks in here. It's uh, the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. So it's supposed to last up to all day. Um, and uh, what I like about it is it goes on like a, a crayon, kind of smooth. 
uh, and it's not really sticky and you don't have to sit there and wait for it to dry and put lip balm on it. You can just put it on and go. And because it has uh, this kind of uh, pencil shape here, uh, you can also line your lips with it if you like to line your lips. And uh, I can put this on and if I don't eat very much <laughs> um, or if I'm really careful when I eat, then I don't have to reapply this at all. But if I'm eating or really pigging out, then I may reapply it if I remember to or think to. Most of the time I don't, and there's still some on my lips, and it's still cute at the end of the day. But I'm a lipstick person, so I like to have this easily accessible. And then I have my little round pill box, and I just had some Advil, Aleve, Excedrin, Migraine, and then some lactate pills in there for uh, lactose intolerant family members. And this is just uh, a nasal spray. I rarely, rarely ever, ever use it. Uh, but this is actually uh, being carried around with me for an experiment. Uh, every once in a while, my husband gets dysphagic attacks. And we were looking at ways to maybe get a steroid kind of in the area when it happens to see if, if anything needs anti-inflamed and if that would help. So I have this so that when uh, we're at, if we're out and he has another dysphagic attack, then uh, we're going to have him try to use this, really squirt it up the nasal passages high so that it runs down the throat. And it's just an experiment. We're going to see if it does anything. So I just have that in my purse for that. All right, and then I have a peppermint spray, um, especially with the whole fake demit going on. Coughing is anathema, and uh, I get a tickly dry throat. And uh, then if I try to hold the cough and not do it, it gets worse and my eyes are watering. So uh, when I get a really dry, tickly throat, I can grab my peppermint spray and I just, I, I literally open my mouth wide and spray this thing down my throat and then just breathe deeply through my mouth and that takes care of the tickle I occasionally get. Um, sometimes uh, I get nasal congestion as well and rather than using this, which I don't really like to use steroids, if I spray this in my mouth over my tonsil area and then breathe deeply through my nose, this helps, clears it up almost always for me. And then if I ever have a scratchy throat for whatever reason, uh, this soothes that too. But we're not allowed to have colds anymore. So, Okay, and then uh, I have Altoids. And I do the Peppermint Altoids. Uh, it is a nice breath freshener. And it, uh, it's a little bit something if you need a flavor in your mouth. But I only get Peppermint because this is uh, also, it's medicinal. Um, peppermint is so soothing for upset stomachs. So, um... And I discovered this in my fourth pregnancy. This is what got me through my pregnancy nausea and, and um, you know, vomiting. Uh, <laughs> and uh, with all of my kids, I had the vomiting and nausea until about 22 weeks of pregnancy. So ever since then, I always like to have peppermint Altoids with me. And when I get the occasional upset stomach, over half the time, one of these, just sucking on one of these helps. And peppermint is a, it has natural analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties in it, so it can even help with some headaches. And then in this uh, very beat up Ziploc baggie, I have a spray bottle, and this is uh, my lavender water. It's just half lavender oil and half water, so I have to shake it every time before I use it, but it's a quick little hand sanitizer if we're picnicking and there's no access to water. Um, I used to spray this on scraped knees when my children were younger, when we were like at the park playing. Uh, this is great if you need to spray something quickly to, to handle flyaways in the hair. Uh, if you need to touch up deodorant or you forgot deodorant like I did on my weekend getaway, this is a fabulous natural deodorant. It lasted me one application in the morning, lasted me the whole day. I never had to reapply. Now, if you're really, really sweating, then you might want to reapply halfway through the day. Uh, so lavender water is just fabulous. It has many, many uses. And if you have trouble falling asleep, you spray some on your pillow and it helps. Then I have a little uh, manicure set. I don't manicure my fingernails at all, but I like this because it has scissors and nail clippers. Uh, the other day, I well, m a few months ago, I uh, grabbed something the wrong way and it clipped off part of my nail and it was kind of bleeding and the other part was sticking up jagged. And I had this in my purse, so I was able to just kind of clip off the jagged part and then file it down and I was good to go. And then the tweezers, tweezers. Tweezers, it's amazing how many times, for whatever reason, I end up needing tweezers. And of course, if we go hiking, well, then you got tweezers to pull out ticks. In which case, pull out the tick, spray on the lavender oil, and we're good to go. 
And then the last thing I have in this pocket is this my Kershaw pocket knife. So I have quick access if I just need to open something up really quick or whatever. And this is quicker and easier to grab uh, than it is to get my scissors out of this. So, and that's what I have in that pocket. Next pocket, this one's a little bit stuffed. This is, this is, has uh, important things in it, but it's also got a lot of baloney in it, so it's kind of stuffed. Um, I got uh, a bag of um, unconstitutional face muzzles. I got my earplugs so that uh, I can put them on my ears and ignore the uh, liberal baloney in the world. But uh, seriously, this is great for parades and fireworks, especially if you're on the autism spectrum like I am. I keep wet wipes. Uh, this is great if you have to touch up makeup and remove a little bit or if you need to clean your hands. And again, like I said, if you're on a picnic and there's no place to wash your hands before you eat, then you can wipe off your hands with this and then spray them with the lavender spray. And then I got uh, disposable face muzzles for the bologna. I have got feminine product. And then I got a couple of reflective emergency blankets. These things are great to have along. Of course, they're great in an emergency if you need it to help someone who's in shock or if the heater breaks in your car in the winter and you're really cold, you know, things like that. Um, they're good in emergency situations too. These can help you build shelter. These are fabulous for building a quick uh, solar distillery if you need to distill water to drink, etc. So I've only used one emergency blanket once in my life, and that was many years ago, but I still really like having them around. And they don't, I mean, look, they're, they're flat. You know, they don't take up much room in the purse. So whatever, right? Just carry them. Okay, now we're getting to the main, well, I forgot another zipper before the main part. See, this purse is great. We got the back here. And we got a little side zipper. Now, this would be a great place to put the cell phone, but uh, I, I don't keep my cell phone there. Um, maybe I'll move things around and keep it in here. I've thought about it off and on, but I've never done it. So I have a baggie of Chewy Tums. And I have a really powdery baggie that only has one or two of the powdery Tums left. And then I have some Symethicone. So I just keep kind of tummy digestion aids in here. Okay, now let's open up our main zipper. This is an awkward position to be standing in, by the way. <laughs> so <clears throat> when you open up my purse, here's what it looks like inside. It just looks like we have a phone and a planner. That's deceptive. So I have my phone right here that I can pull out so it's quick and easy to grab. And it's between two zipper pockets. I have my broken zipper pocket here, which I don't need to close anyways. And then I have a zipper pocket here. And between these is just an open pocket. And that's where I keep my cell phone. And my cell phone has a zero lemon case and extended battery in here. So it can go a very long time uh, between charges. Uh, that's why my phone is so big. And then inside my broken zipper pocket, well, I have my keys, of course. I have my Swiss Army knife, which also has another pair of scissors on it, so if I need scissors, I usually grab this first, and then only if I need more substantial scissors do I go to the one in the manicure kit. I have a little tiny knife that um, also has scissors in it. I found this when I was cleaning my laundry room, so I just stuck it in my purse. And then that's all in that pocket. And then this other zipper pocket that creates the other side of the open pocket. In there, I have... Uh, an extra like charging battery thing so if I need to charge my cell phone when I'm out and about and I don't have any other source then I can plug this into my phone I should have the yeah I have the cord for it right here and then I will drain this into my phone battery and charge my phone that way then I just charge this when I get home I've only had to use it once or twice ever and I've had it for years uh, I got a little USB stick, and this just holds uh, homeschool records for my kids so that uh, if my hard drive or my computer crashes or anything, I still have uh, their records, their transcripts, their curricula info, etc. So I just feel better having that just in case. And then I just have a couple of uh, ballpoint pens, because ballpoint pens are important. All right, now we come to finally the big main pocket, the big main part of my purse. So sitting here at the top is the beauty. It is my Franklin Covey planner. This is the compact vintage Aurora in the color blue Mirage. It is the most amazing planner in the world. I love it a lot. If you'd like to see a tour of this planner, the video that I put up before this video I'm filming was a tour of this planner. It's, it's great. 
So, and then I, I keep my wallet in here too, so that's another reason it's right there at the top. Alright, and then we have a couple of little side pockets here that we can now see that we couldn't see when the planner was in there. So in this one, I just keep a couple of ponytail holders. I used to just keep one in my purse, but uh, now that I'm uh, a grandma, I need to make sure I always have an extra in case I lose one when I'm babysitting my grandkids. I have a grandson and I have a granddaughter on the way. Um, but also, sometimes when my daughter-in-law is visiting with the baby and uh, if she loses her ponytail holder or whatnot, then I can give her one, like especially for like eating out and uh, she needs to put her hair back to feed the baby, I've got her covered. And then in the other little pocket here are my sunglasses. Uh, again, being on the spectrum, uh, they are mandatory <laughs> for me to have and I like the uh, contrast blue blockers. Okay, and then we come down to this part. Now, over here in the side, I have a, a glasses case. This is one dollar from Dollar Tree. And in here, I have a spare pair of my nearsighted glasses, a contact lens case, and then uh, spare contact lenses. So if I have a contact lens problem when I'm out and about or I lose a lens, well, I'm covered. I got some stuff right here. And then I have a couple of pouches in here. So inside this one, and I get my pouches uh, Dollar Tree for one dollar. They're really cute. Sometimes you get a multi-pack. So in here I have mostly makeup type stuff. So let's go through this. Um, I do head cover. So I have a very wide headband which can be used as a head covering in case I need another one. I have three barrettes here. I usually only need two but I got three just in case um, that I need it. I have a string of safety pins strung together because sometimes you need a safety pin. And I got a little uh, clip. So like if I, my keychain breaks, then I can use this, you know, or if I need to clip something. And I just hang my safety pins off of that. I have my barrettes clipped to this head covering, and then I just kind of roll all these together in a ball together. And then in this bottle, I change this out regularly. This is uh, where I keep my uh, contact lens disinfectant on the go. And I have it in a dropper bottle because um, if I'm doing like a long road trip drive or something and my contact lenses have been in much longer than I'm accustomed to, that I can start getting salt deposits on them and my contact lenses can get foggy, then I use the dropper of the contact lens fluid and I just put a few drops of the fluid in each eye and then blink several times and it cleans them right up. But also I have this, uh, if it gets really bad, then I can stop at a gas station, wash my hands, take out my contacts, use this to clean them, and then put them back in. And also, I'm not the only family member that wears contact lenses. We do have another family that does, and uh, his eyes dry out more often than mine do. So if we're out and about and he doesn't have any drops with him, then I'll just hand this to him, and then he just uses the eyedropper to drop a few drops in his eyes. And then the rest of the stuff in this little pouch is just some makeup. Uh, so I have my favorite foundation and it's also a sunscreen in it which I'm very happy about um, and then this is a little makeup kit that came in a makeup kit that uh, my oldest got me uh, a few years ago and I just like to keep this because it's got a mirror um, the under here is a little bit of powder and then we have some different shades of eyeshadow we got blush and then we got a couple of lipsticks and we have little applicators here to apply and then I have my favorite powder, face powder. Uh, I've been getting shiny lately that will probably subside as summer ends. And then I have an eyeliner and an eyebrow brush and a mascara. So I just keep those there so that I have quick makeup if I need it. And then the last thing in my purse, I have another little uh, Dollar Tree pouch here. And then inside this pouch, I have a baggie of AA batteries. Uh, these are for my Eustachi, so that if I need to pop my ears and we're away from home and the batteries die, I can put these in. Uh, so that's main purpose, what I have the batteries for. I have some paracord. This has come in handy. Uh, as I have mentioned, I think in my previous purse video when my dryer broke, I was able to string this up as a clothesline to hang up my clothes until the dryer got fixed. Uh, when my lawnmower broke and my husband was out of town, the pole cord broke, I was able to rig this onto the lawnmower and use to start the lawnmower until my husband got back home and was able to put on a new pole cord. So it's just, it's a strong, handy material. It can be used as a rope to tie things together or tie them onto something. I mean, it's got a lot of uses. So I like to have paracord with me. 
Um, I have a little uh, magnesium and a little uh, blade here as a fire starter. Never ever had to use one, but uh, I think it would be fun when we go camping before using a lighter to start the campfire or whatnot. We should try this. I think that would be fun. And I have pinhole glasses. Uh, these are, uh, they will help vision for nearsighted and farsighted, uh, but you do need a lot of light. But they're fun, and they're a good novelty, too, to have friends try on. I have a little zip-around Bible. It's both Old and New Testaments. I, of course, have a lighter. I do not smoke. I just like to have fire, and that's come in handy. Um, when my children were younger and we'd go to friends' birthday parties uh, and then they would, uh, we'd be at a park and they would have forgotten something to light the candles, I had them covered. And then I have in this really old baggie some wild oregano oil. Um, I use oregano oil medicinally. Uh, this is, an, oregano oil is antibiotic, antiviral, uh, antiparasitic, antifungal. It's got a lot of uses. It's fabulous. So, and of course, I keep it uh, in my apothecary here at home, too, with all my other oils. So, and then that's all that's in there. So, that's everything that's in my everyday carry. These are things that uh, I feel comfortable having with me, things that I use, some of them regularly when I'm out and about, and things that I'm always wanting to reach for, so I'm just glad to have them in my purse. And uh, this concludes uh, a tour of my everyday carrier, what's in my purse. Have a blessed day.